done this before many times. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, hi, hi. Uh, uh, is, is it Patricia? I, I'm sorry, I can't see your name tag. Is I, I apologize, my eyes oh, are bad, I can't read hi. very well. Hey, hey, yeah, Patricia, good morning. How are you, hi, what can Patricia. I do for you? Yeah, Patricia, can I get the uh, the extra large vente and uh, the, uh, the 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 chocolate the, the the chocolate chocolate muffin uh, right there? Okay, extra large vente and chocolate muffin. You got that? Um, would you like whipped cream? No whipped cream? Uh, no whipped cream. Just just the vente as it is. It's 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 uh, it's great as you guys make it here. I mean, uh, I, 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 I I'm sorry. Uh, this is Starbucks, right? I, I think we're at Starbucks. <laughs> right, or, Starbucks. Oh, yeah, I'm the sorry. one and only. Yeah, no, the one and only. I mean, yeah, you, I mean, everyone talks about Panera, but gosh, Starbucks is so much better that people just don't know. Um, yeah, Patricia, how much is that going to be? Uh, just, it's just a just a venti and the, and the chocolate chocolate. Uh, fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars, okay. Um, Patricia, you're going to think I'm a jerk here. Uh, you're going to oh, think please. that I, I I totally don't know what I'm doing and I'm trying to pull one over you. It, I'm I'm so sorry. It looks like a, I I forgot my wallet. Um, Oh bummer! Is it in yeah. your car? Do you want to run out and get it? I can I can help this one. We have this queue forming right here behind you. You want to go check your car and, and come right back? Um yeah, I, I could do that, and I'm gonna hold up people a bit and and hold up the coffee. I mean, oh goodness, Patricia, you're you're gonna think I'm you're gonna think I'm I'm a jerk, and I'm trying to pull one over you on this. And I, I mean, as busy as you guys are, the lines are behind me, and you guys are yeah. so busy. Yeah. It, 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 is it a crazy idea to see like what we could do about this like right now just to, just to get me out of your way? What we can do? Wait, uh, ho hold on, ho hold that thought. I'll, I'll be right with you. One second. Go, go ahead. Yes, so, sir. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I forgot my wallet. Um, Patricia, uh, again, it, it, what, is there anything that we could do? I, I, I'll, uh, can I come back another day and 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 do it? Uh, is there is what opportunities are there to just get this today by chance? Uh, uh, what, 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 what can we do? I mean, I, I, I don't want to sound like a jerk and I'm really not trying to get this for free. What, what, what could we do right now? You know what you sound, you sound really sincere. Uh, it really isn't my call. I mean, I just work here, but I can get my manager for you. Would that be all right? And, sure. and you guys can maybe talk on the side. I probably have to get some other people out of, out of line. Is that sure, okay? Sure. I, if, if that's an opportunity, I'm, I'm, I'm open to it. Sheldon, I, I can gladly embrace it. Sheldon, uh, can, can you be the manager stepping up? Yeah, I could. Uh, what's going on, Patricia? Um, we have this long line. At, you know, it's like barely eight thirty in the morning. Obviously, it's our it's our rush hour. Uh, and this very nice gentleman seems to have forgotten his wallet. Uh, it's not really my place to to hand over free products in front of all these customers either. So I thought you could talk to him while I I take care of the line. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, hey, how's it going, sir? Uh, it, it's it's going well. It could be better. Unfortunately, you know, it seems that I'm causing so much ruckus in your in your shop today. As I'm trying to get a cup of coffee and and a chocolate muffin, I do apologize. You run a really great shop here. Patricia's been so helpful and so so kind to me as your line is backing up and there's a gentleman, you know, trying to rush a line. I, I'm so sorry, sir. It, it, it's it just I'm trying to get a cup of coffee and it appears that I left my wallet and I don't have that on me. Uh, uh, so I, again, I'm not trying to make your day any worse. Uh, what opportunities are there to, to, to still have a, a cup of coffee and, I, and me not having a wallet? Uh, well, thank you for your kind words. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Um, oh, please forgive me. My name is Ed. Uh, Ed I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Starbucks. I'm a membership holder. Uh, again, Panera's good, but not as good as you guys. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Ed. Uh, my name is Shodan. Hey, Shodan. Yeah, first of all, thank you for coming to Starbucks. Uh, we really appreciate it. And thank you for, you know, for those kind words. Uh, so it seems like uh, you forgot your wallet. Yeah, Shodan, I, again, I, I feel like the biggest fool in the world for doing this. And, and again, I'm not trying to put pressure on you or your company. Uh, you guys are here to make business and you're here to run, a, run an operation. Uh, I forgot my wallet and, and I, I, I won't be able to pay for this today. Uh, is, is there any opportunity I could walk away with this today and maybe pay tomorrow or, 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 or something? Uh, sounds like left your wallet in your car. I, you know, I, I, I think I did. I, I, to be honest, I think I did more than leave it in my car. I, I think I left it at home. Oh no, that must be really difficult. Uh, it's, 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 uh, you know, it's unfortunate. And I, and I have a, I know I have a taillight that's busted again. I'm not trying to say a sob story here. I'll probably get pulled over by the cops and, and they'll pull me over for a ticket. And, 
Uh, it just it just seems like a problem. You, you know, Mr. Shoden, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to take too much of your time here. Uh, you, again, you got a long line. You got an awesome team that's from here. I, I've visited this place. Uh, if, if there's an opportunity to walk me the, the coffee today and I, I can pay tomorrow, uh, that'd be awesome. If not, I, I sir, I really don't want to bother you any further. Uh, again, if, if there's any opportunity, at all, what 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 way? Is there a is there a chance I could walk uh, walk walk out with the coffee today and, and the chocolate chocolate? Well, it sounds like you've been coming to Starbucks quite regularly, and uh, we definitely don't want our customers to get, you know, pulled over by the cops for a broken taillight. Oh. Uh, well, we really appreciate your business, and as a valuable customer, maybe, you know, this one's on the house. How does that sound? Jordan, that sounds awesome, sir. That just, again, I, I'm not trying to bother you guys. I know you're so busy. This is one of the busiest Starbucks that we have in the city down here on, on 9th Street. And Mr. Shoda, if you could do that for me, I, I, I will be back tomorrow uh, with a debt of gratitude. And if, if you're not, if you, would you be against the idea if I wrote the corporate, uh, corporate letter just to say how fantastic you guys are here and uh, specifically cite your name, Shoda and Patrice, for really helping me out? Yeah, that, that sounds great. That sounds like a wonderful idea. We really appreciate it, Ed. Well, Shoden, no, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for the cup of coffee and the muffin. Uh, I'll write the letter uh, to uh, to corporate to let them know about you again, Mr. Shoden. And I get how do you spell your last name? I just want to make sure I get the right people. Uh, uh, it's it's De Souza, D S O U Z A. Awesome. Okay. And Patrice, what's Patrice's last name? Uh, uh, her last name Nazario. Nazario. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, Patrice Nazario, Starbucks Ninth Street, sir. I'll be back tomorrow to pay for this coffee and the next one. And uh, and and in fact, because you've been so kind, I'll make sure I'll buy an extra one to pay for for someone else that might have lost their wallet as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Ed, and thanks for being a valuable customer. Thank you, Shodan. Thank you so much. All right. So you got you got a coffee on credit, and you're going to buy another one. No, I'm a yeah, chocolate. Well, chocolate, chocolate. Today. I walked out today. I'll you know in good gesture. I come back tomorrow. And are you coming back forward. tomorrow? Honestly, that, that's the great question, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest do you, with us, well, do you are you coming, coming back? back tomorrow? Right? Yeah. You, you left me wondering. Think, you left me wondering. <laughs> and the letter, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> are you gonna write the letter? <laughs> <laughs> promises, push, promises. I love promises. Yeah, did, did, promises but do I have the promises. coffee and the chocolate chocolate? You do. <laughs> no, we love that. Yeah, no. Uh, you, you want to got is, more. Show it. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, Ed gave us so much hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like 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 Shodan, I could feel Shodan light up as soon as Ed said, "I'll write that letter." Shodan's like, "Oh yeah, that would be great." Yeah, yeah that okay. would be good. Yeah, no. it's all about it's all about hope. <laughs> I'll see you, Doug. So, like for me, I didn't feel like he tried to build any any rapport with me. Um, he he made me feel sorry for him, but that's not. It's like okay, I feel sorry for you, but I don't I don't feel moved to do more. It's like okay. Um, you're, you're kind of having a bad day. Yeah. Oh, you're, 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 you're right. I, I, what I, I, I didn't get a chance to do is, is build you up. Um, mm -hmm. you know, until after when I got the chance to talk to Shodan, I, I felt like I was trying to, you know, get through that moment versus, Hey, Patrice, you look super busy right now. And I apologize. I can talk about the line, but I didn't talk enough about you. You're, yeah, absolutely. Correct. Yeah. Thanks for the, thanks for the comment. Yeah. Yeah. No, of course. You, you, it was great though. I think maybe like uh, just if it were real life, maybe a way uh, you probably think I'm kind of like bitchy to say this, but maybe take the opportunity to go look in the car and just kind of hang back if, if there were time in the schedule, right? To kind of hang back to the line kind of dissipates a bit and then reapproach and probably at that time have more, more, um, more rapport. What we've more learned time. here, the best way to cope with it is just start with no, hey, is, is this a bad time? Do you have... Mm -hmm. Is a bad time to uh, talk to a customer. No, we're empty. There's nobody around. Well, uh, <laughs> I got all the day in the world. Hey, are you a cat or dog person? There's just something to spark up, you know, get the lubrication going. Because um, Patricia, did you have the authority to give him the free coffee and muffin if you felt it? Right. But what, like, what for me, what sealed the no was when he said it. I think he said, I forgot my wallet and, uh, and like, turned back and said something so in my mind at that moment the whole salon full of people heard him say 
uh, either I forgot my wallet or can I get a coffee, whatever it was. And then that would have made me look like, oh, "Oh, now everybody in line is going to come at me wanting something free. Yeah. So that's a, yeah. Um, seclude your, your, yeah. your, uh, your prey, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. I love right. it. No, we're learning so much. Uh, <laughs> feedback from, uh, Costas. Uh, he did the opposite of a guilt trip and I don't want to throw his business out there, but I will. He used the, uh, I have a, look, I didn't bring my gun. Uh, you should give me coffee. You should, you probably want to sit down. Uh, I'll tell you what, you give me a cup of coffee. I'll let you sit with me and talk because, you know, you know, of course, it's got that power, right? Uh, you came in more like the Eugene way of uh, Eugene was putting on their guilt trip because, you know, those who smelt it, dealt it. He is the guilt trip pro. Uh, he once got me on a guilt trip. He said, we worked so hard on this cleaning schedule. And I'm like, ah, we did. I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, he was detecting your your guilt trip maneuvers here. Uh, is, is this one of your favorite techniques, you know, kind of just uh, guilt trip them around and shake them up a bit? <laughs> Are you asking me, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, that's my no. feedback. Uh, I, so, I was seeing that. I was so curious on that. Yeah. Uh, no, what I was trying to do here is, um, again, I talk about the wall between two people. So either I elevate them or bring or like, again, either I elevate them or they break, break the wall down. In this situation, I wanted to make sure that Patricia, uh, Patricia and Shodan were in a position of power. And so for that is I have to humble myself lower. Again, it's just, uh, for, that's, that's how I think about it. Oh, please forgive me. I'm like, I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a fool. You know, I don't have it. It's, it's my fault. I'm, I'm a, you know, I, I, just, I just lower my position. That's all I'm trying to do. That if they could see that I'm, my position is lower, then they feel more authoritative that they're in the position to do something. Um, so that, I did like that Patricia called you a nice guy. Did you mean that, Patricia? When, yeah, was, yeah. Oh, okay, so good. I did, I did feel like um, he... He, he was having a bad day. He was building a lot of self-empathy. Like he was making me feel sorry Forced for Forced empathy, him. yeah. So, that's but that's that's not the same. That wasn't really going to move me to want to mm. help him. It just kind of made me say, oh, you're kind of having a bad day. That was one. And the other thing was I felt like it was in front of too many people. And then that would have given me like an awkward position as I tended to the rest of the line. Yeah. It, they, no, Patrice, that's awesome. In fact, I, you know, I know that when I was doing this, Again, I, I, I focused on the goal. The goal was to get the coffee, the free coffee. Instead, I should have changed my, I should have changed it into, well, what could we do? What could we do? Because then that's really more collaboration. It's like, hey, look, you know, I asked for the vents, I asked for the chocolate, chocolate, you know, I'm just trying to grab a cup of coffee. Like, you know, what, what opportunities are there to, you know, to get a cup of coffee? And, and if I looked at it. Oh, that instead, and then they bring up, hey, well, you would, you, would, would you write corporate a letter? Would you uh, <laughs> leave me a review instead of you bringing the... Uh, yeah, th- yeah, there's there's different approaches. Like, yeah, yeah, that yeah th- we then use those techniques in it. Just again, opportunity for collaboration. I I did not focus on collaboration as I was focused on getting that coffee and a chocolate chocolate muffin. You know, that's mm-hmm. and I think that's what was probably different in this scenario, mm-hmm. versus um, uh, the other gentleman, Douglas. Uh, and that one is what what does this deal look like? Because then I'm only I'm focused on collaboration. So that I think that's a difference on this one. I was mm-hmm. focused on on the on the product versus I was. And so I did that wrong then. I was focused on the deal and not the collaboration. And that's what was the difference. In oh, my mind, now just looking back. Yeah. So not not uh, the person, but on the, on the deal. Yeah, there, there's that video where you're so focused on passing, uh, counting the passes that you missed a gorilla walk in the cross. That's why it, <laughs> it takes six negotiations. So for one person to manage all these things, you know, that's, uh, that's a lot of components. Now, uh, any other feedback? Does anybody want to jump in and, and uh, oh. get a cup of coffee or do a pawn shop. Uh, we got like 20 minutes. Eugene? Uh, no, not today, Dan. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, anybody here? Uh, Freddie, do you want to try and get a cup of coffee? Uh, Anuj, uh, Shodan, Florin, maybe you want to do a pawn shop. Pawn shop is kind of long. I mean, it's your guys' call here. What about the tough cookie? What if what if you and Ned go and and go against each other with a tough cookie scenario? Yeah, then. I mean, would love to uh, actually. Uh, so fun fact. How you did? Yeah, I um, so I've done plenty of these. I don't see the fun in it, but <laughs> yeah. You, you know what it sounds like to me is uh you guys are being a bunch of cowards. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> tell you that and if somebody doesn't go i'm just gonna throw you in the in the pit of fire uh, uh there you go darth vader coming <laughs> yeah good lord uh costa so you've seen so many are you ready to go again okay for a cup of coffee uh okay, okay. who do you want to get one from anybody uh pick anybody it's easy to be uh, a counterpart Ed, of course because i want to see uh, ed Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was, we're trying to give Ed a break, but Ed, uh, do you want to get a cup of water? Uh, uh, well, you know what? This is easy. You're, you're just going to be a regular. Uh, maybe you own this this uh, coffee shop. We don't know, but Costa forgot his wallet, and you're you're here working. You can make up okay. whatever background you want. I'm just uh, sure. just letting sure. you know. Yeah, you're just serving coffee and. Costas is coming in your store. Oh, all right. Uh, all right. Yeah, sure. I'll do. <laughs> well, there's just ways. be normal. Be be as normal as you possibly can. Uh, okay. And we'll and, see. And yeah, Kosa and then uses his skills. He's going to use his skills, and then you're going to give us feedback, like, "Hey, you know what? Uh, I felt X, Y, Z, or you know, whatever you felt. We really care about the the raw feelings." Was ready to call the police. <laughs> yeah, you know, did you give him this coffee because you like the guy because you just want him out of your face? <laughs> right. This is not charm school, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, no, no, let's, uh, let's get let's, the coffee. We just want to know. Uh, we just want you to be normal. Sure, sure. We're, I'll, I'll play. I'll play the scenario. Yeah, we'll do it, and then uh, that way, Costas could use his skills. Exactly. Okay, Costas. Okay. Hello. Hi, sir. How, like, welcome to Starbucks. Uh, what, what can I get for you today? Uh, many things, but uh, first of all, I, I came to this particular place because they told me that you are the, you serve the, uh, the best coffee in Starbucks. And um. I have asked uh, four different people and uh, all show me here. This, uh, this, uh, this Starbucks uh, coffee serves the best coffee and uh, it smells like the best coffee also. Oh, Costas, you're, you're so kind, sir. Yep. Th thanks so much. I mean, I, yeah, I'm the owner of this place. So, you know, we've been here for uh, four years now. We turned it around uh, with new management. And, you know, thank you so much for the kind words. Those, those four people are very kind to talk to tell us who we are. Uh, we, we do think we have great coffee here. Uh, so thank you so much, sir. What can I get for you today? I, I, I have a problem. When I came here, and I came here especially for, for, for this, I, I, I came without my wallet. That's crazy. And oh, so, sorry to hear that, Mr. Costas. But That's... it smells so well, so well, so I, I get a try. I go, you, I'm going to, to feel like a beggar or something. But I, since I came here, and the, the smell is something that blows my mind, I'll dare to ask if it is uh, impossible to, to let me try your coffee. Uh, Mr. Costas, thank you so much. Again, it, it sounds like you're really in a tough position here, and uh, that you lost your wallet again. We we do uh, we do pride ourselves on having great coffee here and and having great customers. Uh, unfortunately, we only provide coffee to paying customers, and in this situation, sir, it appears that you don't have the ability to pay. How how am I supposed to do that? Uh, I don't have the ability to pay now, but uh, I can. Uh assure you that I will come within a week and they will pay you the money. I want to come. I, I, just smelling this coffee made me crazy. Of course I will come. And of Plus course I will pay you. I, it's not a matter of money. Of course, may, maybe you don't trust me. Why should you trust me? Of course. No, Costas, you, you sound again, you sound like a very honest man and a very honorable man. And again, I, I, I'm going to sound like a jerk. I, I have to run a tight business. The reason why we're able to get the best coffee is because uh, we, we run a tight business. And, and part of running that tight business is making sure that all of our customers pay. I mean, if, if, I, if I could offer you a cup of coffee, I would. And in this situation, sir, uh, how am I supposed to do that? It seems you are in a tough position. And, uh, yeah. and you have to keep something. Uh, it's a way you, it seems like there is no way to cooperate some way. Well, it's, 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 it's our, 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 we, we do pride our reputation on, on giving great coffee. It's at the same time, we offer it to paying customers. 
okay, uh, it's, it's fine with me, but uh, can I take a sample just to, since I uh, make all, all the trouble to come here, can I, can I have a, a sample just to say to myself, uh, to do the, the extra work I make to come to you. And I, this will remind me to come back, of course. Yeah, oh, Mr. Kossi, you bring up a great argument again. A sample would be great. Unfortunately, it, it seems that I, I turned down 10 other customers prior to you for not being able to offer them a sample either. It's just not part of our business routine. Again, I'm going to sound like a jerk in saying this. Uh, we offer co coffee to our paying customers. I, I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, uh, we well, have a lot of problems with people asking for, uh, for extra coffee. I thought I was the only person in the world that could ever dare to ask for uh, free coffee. Uh, not not necessarily, sir. I mean, you you you. Again, we we value our customers, and and again, as a valued customer, we we definitely offer you that cup of coffee. Uh, being a valued customer means that you pay for a cup of coffee. Unfortunately, I, I'm I'm so sorry, sir. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I I feel that you are you keep what uh, what you do. You are you are uh, okay with uh, what your profile is. And you, it's your, you, you own the business or you are an employee there? No, i tell you what, Mr. Costas, you, you seem like a really, really good guy here. Again, it sounds like you don't have uh, fi uh, money to pay for it. What, what could you do for us? Easy. And the I money doesn't always on. turn on, on money. So what, what, what could you do for us? Of course, I, 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 I can write a good uh, letter to your... Uh, to your company and saying that you, uh, you, have, you have to overdo uh, what you have to do. Of course. And of oh. course, I will come back with uh, paying the, the, the money and the coffee. It will be a, a privilege to be a custom co uh, customer in, the, in this place. Oh, that sounds awesome. Again, writing a letter. <laughs> Uh, to our uh, that's you know, that's 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 awesome and again we we get roughly 20 to 30 letters a day on our coffee because it's and time pain. yeah <laughs> Costa, sorry man uh he is he's just he is having his way he's oh, sis, i'm so sorry you did oh gosh you did a great job i was going to go in a no deal on this and i just wanted to see what other <laughs> yeah. skills you would bring up sir you did a fantastic job uh empathy and bringing up other things a are you there <laughs> thank you very yes. much uh Shodan, uh your mic's still on? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, uh, let, let's, can you try and get a cup of coffee from Ed here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I can try. Hey. All right. <laughs> how, about, how about Ed to take a break? How about that? No, no, no. We know we're not going to see you in a while, so we're just going to take advantage of you. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to have our way. Yeah. Just gonna, yeah. Um, oh, maybe you could negotiate coffee from Dan after today. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll send you a Starbucks gift card, Ed. You've done. <laughs> you helped us out so much. Uh, yeah, Let's and it's it. recorded. It. Uh, all right, Sheldon. Uh, Let's do it. All right. Uh, good morning, sir. How are you doing? Hey, hi. Welcome to Starbucks. Best coffee in town. What can I do for you today? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You guys do have the best coffee in town, and the weather's so great. Yeah, what can I get for you today, sir? Oh, uh, I just need a needed a cup of cappuccino. Yeah, absolutely. Did you, uh, just a regular size cappuccino? Do you want a double shot? Uh, oh, just just a regular, sir. Awesome, sir. I hope uh, that's not going to be a problem. No, not at all. In fact, we love to we love serving our coffee to our customers. I mean, that's the only reason why we're here. Uh, the uh, let me just look at it. It's uh, going to be four ninety five. Perfect. Oh man, uh, it's it's Ed, right? Yeah, um, Ed's on my name tag. Yep, I'm the owner yeah. here. Is uh, my Starbucks. So we've been here for a little while. So yep. Hey Ed, uh, man, you're gonna. Oh man, hate me for this. Uh, you're probably going to think I'm one of just one of those homeless people outside who comes in here, tries to like you know get free coffee and try to use the restroom. Yeah, you're probably gonna think I'm just a stingy little guy who don't want to pay for his coffee. 
I don't know. What, what, what would make you say that? Ed, you know, I was in a rush this morning. Like I woke up late and, you know, trying to go to the office and I thought, hey, I'll stop by, get some coffee. And I just realized that I left my wallet at home. Oh, no, that's unfortunate, sir. Sir, I, I must apologize. What's your name? Uh, oh, my name is Shodan. Shodan. Oh, no, sir. Yeah, it sounds like you were in a rush this morning. Sounds like you stopped by the office and it sounds like you, you don't have your wallet. Yeah, that's right. I was just in the rush this morning. Uh, would it be a terrible idea if I, you know, pay for it tomorrow? Oh, good. You're going to think I'm a jerk for saying this. Uh, Shodan, unfortunately, we are uh, we, we, we run a great business here. We know we have great coffee. And part of that business model is that uh, we provide co coffee to all our paying customers. Uh, and in this situation, it sounds like you're not able to pay. No, I agree. Uh, I know you guys do a wonderful job of, you know, taking care of your customers and providing the best coffee in town. And, and you guys are clearly doing a wonderful job. Uh, what can we do to, you know, get that cup of coffee? You know, I'll be more than happy to pay for it tomorrow. Yeah, well, you know, it's tough. Yeah, I'm not really worried about if you pay for it tomorrow because you might not come back. A lot of our customers say they come back and they don't, and we end up losing, losing, losing some of our revenue because of that. And so we, we kind of stopped doing that model. Um, what, it, Mr. Shodan, is, it sounds like you said you go to the office. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do? Uh, I work as a, a, a tech analyst across the road. Oh, tech analyst. What, what, what could you offer from a tech analyst position uh, for our Starbucks if we, in turn, provide coffee? You know, what? you know what we could do? I mean, I could come here uh, with my team tomorrow and we could leave you an excellent review. And, you know, I could leave you reviews on Google. I can leave you reviews and uh, Yelp. Uh, what do you think about that? Oh, Shodan, again, it sounds like a great idea. Reviews are what helps our company. However, that's it sounds like that's something that's going to happen tomorrow, so that if it happens tomorrow, it may not happen at all. Well, uh, how, how about we do this? I got my phone with me right now, and I could leave you a review at this moment. Would that be something you're opposed to? Oh, no, I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. I mean, it, you know, you're, you're, that sounds like a great offer. Would, would, would you be against the idea to see what other things we could do together to get this coffee? I mean, sounds like we're, we're, we're talking about making a deal here. Yeah, sounds like you have something on your mind. Yeah, it sounds like you're, you're a great tech, a tech analyst in the office. Uh, you know, they're roughly down the street. Hey, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind providing a free cup of coffee. What are the chances you can get 10 of those guys to buy a cup of coffee right now? If you have your phone, you can call uh -huh. them up right now. What chances are there that they come in within the next 30 minutes, uh, buy, a, buy, the, buy the large vente and a muffin, and I tell you what, I'll throw in a cup of coffee for you. How about I contact all of them right now and let them know? Shodan, this sounds like an awesome idea. Again, I, I know you don't have your wallet. I'm not trying to sound like a jerk, and I'm not trying to take advantage of you. If you're able to bring in 10 folks here to, to buy coffee and a muffin, that that that. All, it easily pays for a, a free cup of coffee for you. In fact, I'll even give you a punch card so that the next time you come here, uh, that's how we're actually going to pay for your free coffee. Oh, I really appreciate it. Uh, and, and yeah, I'll definitely be more than happy to do that for you. I know I could invite my colleagues over here. Sh Shodan, I'll tell you what, it sounds like you're a real big influencer and you're able to make things happen. If you don't mind, uh, I'll if we can wait, have your group of 10 show up. Uh, if if you could stand on the side and show up and once they get here, come back in line and, and I'll, we'll go ahead and take care of all, all the, all the services and, and make sure you guys get your cup of coffee and I'll make sure you get one for free. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. How difficult, I know I'm just pain in the ass and you, you've been very patient listening to me and you know, the trouble I've been having this morning. How difficult would it be for you to Give me this coffee right now. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like something that's going to be pretty tough. Again, uh, we we love giving coffee to our paying customers, and so uh, if you're able to meet that that requirement, I'd be happy to to provide the coffee. And it sounds like we're not quite there yet. Uh, you know, so, 
you know, you're doing such a wonderful job and it's, it's Saturday, you want to have a good time, you know, you want to spend some time with your customers and, uh, you know, provide value to them. Am I yeah. out of, am I out of, am I out of line and asking no, for it, it, a cup of coffee? You're absolutely right, Sean, and we do want to take care of our customers. In fact, I got a line lining up right behind you right now. So if, if you're not against the idea, hey, I'd love to give you that free cup of coffee. Get your 10 guys over here real quick. If you don't mind standing over to the left, I can go ahead and tend to these folks. And when you're ready to go, and uh, time. we're ready to have it. Wow. Uh, it's, uh, it, it doesn't uh, let, I mean, do you think Shodan <laughs> tried to build the report? I, I Shodan, Shodan did a great job. Shodan was, I, for me, I felt like Shodan was trying to make this happen. I wanted to, again, I was going to say no. I, I, my approach was to say no to see what other skills Shodan would bring. What other things would he negotiate? And so he stayed he, in just the pocket. Shodan that practice. Yeah. yeah he, practice. Um, so, what I would have liked to see would, would be more of the listening about Ed. Like, you know, <laughs> what's making him work on a Saturday? Why why is he so defensive? Ed, uh, do you like cats or you like dogs better? Ed, uh, <laughs> are you an indoor guy or an outdoor guy? Uh, do you like pool? You ever played hockey? You know, just like, <laughs> uh, we didn't, did we find anything about Ed? We, we, uh, oh. no, we oh. didn't. Uh, and I think that's, yeah, that's, you know, great feedback there. We're, we're running short on time. We had someone here that, and th thank you, Ed, uh, we're trying to wrap here shortly. Freddie wants to get coffee. Freddie, can you pick a victim? Who here looks so easy that will they'll <laughs> give you a cup of coffee? Yeah, who here looks that they'll just give you it just by looking at you? I, I would just prefer volunteers, I think. No, come I on. Do. That's not fun. Okay. Oh, Anoush. Okay, An Anoush, um, you are a barista today. By the oh, way, good. Anoush went last time. He, he did fantastic. He stayed in that pocket, labeled, labeled, mirrors. Lots of dynamic silence. Uh, now you're just going to be a regular, or, or you can be like Ed and try to get somebody <laughs> to bring ten people. <laughs> I suppose. Ed killed it. Oh, Freddie! Whenever you're I mean, ready Ed to approach, <laughs> to approach an a nuge. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, so, uh, good morning. I'm hey. here to get some coffee. Uh, my partner actually uh, recommend me this place. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Uh, and Anush, that's how you pronounce? Yes. Where are you from, if you don't mind asking? I'm from India. I'm here uh, for studies and yeah, like I do this work as a part time. Part time. I imagine uh, I have to work this Saturday as well. I'm not fan of Saturday, but you know, we have to do what we have to do. Um, uh, may I have a coffee, please? Sure. Which one would you like? Uh, just a regular coffee with some cream. Sure. Uh, that would be $5. Sure, sure. The, today, uh, you, you won't believe today is my first day at job, so I'm very excited. My firm oh, that place, and I, I can tell uh, people like this. Uh, I mean, who doesn't like uh, Starbucks? So... I, let me, how much is it? Five bucks. Five bucks. I, oh, I think I, today, I think today's a bad day for me. I forgot my badge and I think I just forgot my wallet. Uh, I really appreciate your time. I really don't want to, uh, I mean, get you in trouble or anything, but it, what are the chances that you can help me out this time? I know that perhaps not, it's not the best impression. I'm working here. I work just uh, two blocks. I can give you my business card. Uh, if, if, I mean, if you can help me out this time, uh, I will definitely appreciate it. Is that something that perhaps we can work together? Sorry, uh, you forgot your wallet? Yeah, I forgot my wallet. And I forgot my badge as well. So it seemed like uh, I left at home. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to get just a free coffee. To be honest, I, uh, I want to definitely be a, a long-term customer. At least I'm gonna stay here for two years. So perhaps you can help me out this time, and we can make business together. 
I love coffee. Uh, my friends love coffee as well. That's awesome. Would it be a ridiculous idea for you to go back and maybe borrow some money from a friend and come back here? <laughs> so uh, yes, yeah, so, so no many people were on Saturday today. So I have to just get some stuff uh, from work. Uh, I, this is my first day, so I have to bring you know my lab to uh, pick up some stuff. But I definitely, uh, I mean, I'm working from Monday to Friday. Um, this is a uh, uh, this is very embarrassing for me. But uh, I, I understand if you cannot do it, I don't want to get you in trouble. But um, I mean, I'm, I'm new in this city and if you can help me, I, I will really, uh, I will never forget today. And if you need anything uh, from, from <clears throat> if you need anything in the future, of course, you can, you can always contact me. Yeah, like uh, that's, an interesting point. Uh, would it be okay if I asked you to write a review for my Starbucks with my name in it? Absolutely, yes. Uh, I can write a review. Uh, to be honest, uh, it never happens this one to me. And really feel bad even asking you. Uh, and I know you can get in trouble maybe. So, so I would definitely do it uh, for you. And, and, and as I say, if you need anything, I mean, just let me know. I'm gonna leave you my business card as well. If you can provide me with, with your business card and I'll write a review. Sounds how, good. How have you been with the company? Uh, sorry, you meant how long I have been? Yes. A uh, couple of years. Couple of years. I'm, I'm sure you're looking for a, a promotion, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It, 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 is there anything in specific you want me to write? I mean, you, you, you seem like... Uh, uh, I am a nice guy, so I can help you to get up. I think it will be great if you don't mention that I give out free coffees for reviews. <laughs> no, I, I would definitely know, but uh, I would definitely say that you don't you just don't provide good coffee, but good services. So I love your energy. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, time. There you that, go. that was good. Freddie, uh, you did something interesting there. You built the report towards the end. Uh, Next time, do it prior to going for the ask. Does that make sense? You'll probably get more if uh, you just flip that. This is great. You used the tools, good pacing. Maybe you explained a bit too much. Um, Anoush didn't talk much. Uh, you did get the coffee. Uh, I think that went good. Yeah, just build the report prior. Hey, Patricia. So you, you'll probably think I'm a, a negative Nancy, as Doug likes to say. Um, I felt like there was a missed, a couple of things. Um, uh, maybe you could have used an, um, an accusations audit before you said you forgot your wallet. Uh, you know, I probably look like a jerk. Or I probably look like I'm trying to get over on you. Um, but I did like how you were yeah. saying, I'm not trying to get you in trouble. I like that. That kind of, to me, freed, freed up, kind of helped me take, take a breath and be like, oh, okay. Uh, and then the other thing was, the missed opportunity was he said he was a student and you never really engaged that you said um, how long have you been working here i'm sure you're looking for a promotion as opposed to how long have you been working here how much longer do you have in school what are you interested in doing after school are you getting management training training now for a career you want to pursue down the road like kind of more built on his aspirations you know to get educated and to move on with his life no, that's, a, that's a great point more listening any other feedback from the interaction before we uh, head off? Any special requests? Yeah, Ed. So, uh, Freddie, it, uh, just to follow up with what Daniel was saying, how you went back and tried to develop rapport, you already closed the deal with him when you were exchanging cards. Like, to me, that the deal was done. Uh, you probably could have walked away. And then when you came back to find out a little bit more about him, you kind of like, you kind of regressed a little bit. Not that he wouldn't give you your coffee, but you just put yourself two spaces backward when you're already ready to, to go. I mean, you, you closed them because um, mm -hmm. he was going to give you the coffee. Uh, the only other thing too, as well is, again, these are, these are great things is I heard you say I a lot and, and the specific ones that I heard was I understand and I will do this or I, I won't forget tomorrow um, is it, it was pointing, it was pushing your perspective on what was happening there. And again, it's about that, uh, you know, Hey, a news, you know, you're studying, man, what, what are you, what are you studying? Oh, you know, or whatever. 
Uh, news, what would you be studying? Uh, you know, in this in this example, what, whatever it is. Wow, bi biochemistry. Wow, sounds like you really want to do great things. Now, what are those great things? We don't know, but you already lifted them. It sounds like you want to do some great things out there. Maybe you know, is it be a doctor, be a professor? What what, what do you have planned in the future? Because now he's like, then he's going to share. He's going to bring that wall down. All we're trying to do is bring that wall down. Uh, but again, not to not to be nitpicky. I'm not trying to do that. It's when you said, I understand, like, do you really understand? What do you understand about the news situation? And so if you think that, oh, oh yeah, I, I totally understand what you're talking about. Like, do you really? Anuj got three, three babies. His wife is pregnant with the fourth. He's got, you know, he's going to school. He's working at Starbucks. He hates his job. Like, how do you really understand where he is? And so, you know, we, we can say that we don't. It, it would say, like, it sounds like there's a lot of things going on. You know, third person. It sounds like there's a lot of things going on there. Or it sounds like, it sounds like there's, you're, you're busy without saying, I think I understand your situation. So I'll just pause right there. Great job, Freddie, and the news. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, I'm glad that we're recording this so I can, you know, go back and pinpoint uh, the feedback. Yeah, please uh, make sure you message me somewhere on Messenger or or email, and I'll get I'm you. Thing, Freddie, if it's okay. So I noticed that uh, when you, at some point, you became uncomfortable, and that made you stumble all the words. Mm -hmm. you, you were trying to kind of find or grasp to certain things. So you, you, you started to rumble. So at this point of time, as you become aware of this kind of inner conflict that you are feeling, you can bring it out in the form of AA by saying, oh my God, I'm making you feel uncomfortable right now, or I'm making you feel confused. And let it sit for a while. That will help you gain some time and space to collect yourself. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it forces a little bit of empathy too. All righty, guys. Uh, That's great. Back here Friday, same time, Saturday, same time. I know a lot of you didn't get any chance to practice. Uh, if you guys come Friday, that's usually when I jump in for practice. There's less people. Uh, so if anybody yeah. wants to see me, how I slither my way to things, come on by on Friday. How can we have this uh, video taped? Uh, yeah, email me. Um, I put my email address or Facebook Messenger or on Slack. Look, I'm easy to find. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll find you. Okay. <laughs> Don't can, worry, I, Gus. can I ask a quick question to yeah. Ed? Oh, dude. Sure. Yeah, Ed. Uh, so you, you've been doing this for a long time and you're clearly an expert. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that, but, I, but that's not true either. <laughs> so uh, one thing I noticed is uh, you do uh, speak a little bit faster had that ever been a problem uh it, when i read when i recognize that i do i i even I, on my screen i would put slow, uh, the word slow 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 i i think um when it has occurred it, i have to be my natural self and so if my natural self comes off as speaking fast at times when it has worked in my favorites because they're like wow well, no i really feel your energy i'm excited because you're yeah. excited and that's how it comes off uh, versus a nervous fast and I'm, you know, jittery and not, not knowing where I'm trying to drive the conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in cases, again, if, if I recognize in the, in, here it's hard, we're seeing all, all each other, uh, all of us um, mm -hmm. on a one-on-one -on -one conversation or a smaller engagement, uh, I can tell, you know, you could look at them and, and if, and it seems off, it may, it probably is off. So call it, Hey, it seems like, it seems like I'm speaking too fast or it seems like we're not connecting on what I'm saying. Let me take a second and slow it down. And I've done that. In fact, even, you know, when I, when I speak to my, by, my VPs about some things, I'm like, I say that, let me slow down for a second and just take a pause. What I mean by that is this. And then I kind of slowly go back, back into it. Cause I, again, I recognize it when I, when I go fast and I, again, I love these, um, these scenarios. In my mind, I always think I only have 20 minutes to close this deal. And that's that's a that's an impediment for me because I do want to close this deal in the right way with a lot of time. Uh, and, and I do kind of rush things sometimes in, in these negotiation, um, mock negotiations. So no, thank you, Shodan. Yeah, thank uh, you, Ed. Just a moment. Uh, I think that yeah. when you speak very fast, uh, it, uh, it, it, it uh, the, I, I, for me, Anyway, I cannot think that you are using techniques because you are doing very fast. If you use techniques, you will be slowed down, but you are, 
Uh, you are so fast. Mine doesn't uh, play this game. <laughs> Costas, if I could just comment on that. Uh, in another negotiation technique, I, I sometimes I do, I, I mean, sometimes I do it purposefully as well. When I was negotiating with another individual, they were supposed to be the aggressor and mean and kept attacking me. And when the conversation was done, he just, one of his, one of, for me, it was a compliment was like, when you negotiate with Ed, it's like you're wrestling a snake. Every time you turn, he's already there. And so <laughs> Costas, I do, uh, at times you'll see that I put, and I, Eugene and I have talked about this. I put two or three techniques together on purpose because I don't want you to think. I actually, I want you to, I want me to guide you to how you think because I'm trying to guide the conversation. And then it's like, you can have all the options, but I want to give you these three options of what we're going to talk about. So I do that. I speak fast on purpose so I can kind of guide that conversation. Some people catch it. Uh, most people don't. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. To me, that looks like, uh, it looks like um, Shodan or alluding to is like, do you, but that doesn't create an environment for a black swan. It's like, hey, these are the three options I got for you, and I'm going to guide you to, to these three. Do you uh, ever even care about black swans, or you are so content if you get these three that I don't care about a black swan? I, I this is this is what I want. I'm going for that. I put these tools and strategies, and boom, no, close it, uh, go. I think when, when I try to dig for a black swan, it's it's usually in my exploration phase. I just want to ask how or what and see what sticks. So, for example, with my, uh, you know, with the other Douglas earlier, um, you know, t again, I don't know if that black one was really his time or that he wasn't going to make a deal with me. I mean, I, I, that's what came out to me. Perhaps there's another black one that was there that I didn't know about. I, I just have to work with what, what if I can ask how and what and explore, I'll try to find out what's important if we can't move away from that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I get Daniel, I guess your question is, am I looking for a black swan? I'm just looking for information to help me close this deal. Uh, in, in approach to collaboration first. I always want to approach collaboration and then focus on the deal. Um, so that, that's how I look at it. Cool. Any uh, other questions? And I got time if anybody else wants to get a cup of coffee from anybody. <laughs> I'll go. Anush, who do you want to get a cup of coffee from? Who here looks like easy peasy? I'll go Ed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gentle gentleman he'll well well yeah let's let's do it what do you want you want easy medium hard you want ed to take your 401k or not if, no no <laughs> again like the news how did you how do you want this training to be if yeah. you want me to negotiate with you i'll use all the skills with you if you want to just walk through then of course i can act but you're really not going to learn you know, yeah, I loved like, it. I loved it when the last one you were so hard. I felt okay. that you were the one negotiating it. Yeah, me. yeah. All right. He asked for it. Give it to him and go. So, and, and, dude, you want to do a cup of coffee or you want to do a, a scenario that's more re real and dear to you, like a job oh. interview or, you know, compensation or benefits or something? Let's do, uh, let's do promotion. Oh, promotion. Love promotions. Let's do it. Wow. Blind. Blind. I'm your manager. I don't care. We'll, we'll go blind. Let's go. Hey Ed, how Hey Ed, how are you doing today? Hey Anuj. Hey, how you doing today? Hey, come, come. You got, you got a few seconds. Come on in. Let, let's let's have a seat and talk. I I haven't talked to you in a while. I know that you know office has been really really busy. Um, how are you doing? Come on in. I'm doing good. I noticed that you have a new painting in your background. Uh, would love to know when you got it. Oh, Anush, thanks for asking. Actually, that painting is a really old painting. Uh, you know, similar to you, I, uh, and, and I don't know if you grew up here in the United States. I, I, wasn't, I, didn't, I wasn't born in the United States. I actually uh, immigrated here when I was a young child, and the painting and the, and the two pigeons or the birds back there, uh, some of the earliest uh, things that my, that my mother had purchased in her home uh, way back in 1977. So, I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but I, I hold on it to simply remind me of where I came from. Thanks for asking, Anush. What made you want to ask about that? It was something new I, that I really noticed and I really liked them because like uh, coming from India, like I also had some artistic things around in my house. So yeah, like this looks really amazing. And it seems like you are really uh, like attached to your family and that makes you really happy. Oh, no, thanks. Anuja. I appreciate that. You know, in fact, uh, you know, 
our, our, our company has been growing and, and, and we're busier than we, we normally are. And, you know, honestly, I haven't really had a chance to get to know you. I hear great things from your managers about you, uh, you know, and again, it sounds like there's more to you than, you know, just the, the work that you do, the fact that you like art uh, and the artistic things around um, sounds like there's more to you than what, what we can see up front. Anish, tell me, what, what do you do for our company here? What, what, what type of work do you do here? So I, uh, I mostly am focused on managing a team of iOS engineers. Uh, so yeah, like I really am proud of uh, being a part of this company and really value all the great work you do behind the scenes to help make us successful. And as you mentioned, like bringing more growth, these sort of things like that really helps open opportunities for the team. So yeah, like really appreciate like all the hard work that you do behind the scenes that uh, help make us successful and help make like more opportunities for engineers in my team. Oh, I knew is you're, you're, you're too kind, sir. Again, I, I'm, I'm in a lucky position to be here. And one of these days, you two will be in a position where you're managing a lot of other folks. Uh, if you can't already tell, the way I look at things is your success is my success and my success is your success. So it behooves me to make sure that you're successful, that you have the tools that you need uh, to manage the team of iOS engineers that you have so that you can create great products for a company. And again, for your own personal uh, and professional development to strive to what you want to be as you continue your career. So Anuj, on that note, what are you trying to do with your career? I want to... Uh... I want to be, I want to uh, like see if like I can start, like as you mentioned, like the team is growing uh, and like this is a pretty good phase, especially like a lot of our services are now moving online. So yeah, like I wanted to see like if uh, there would be an opportunity for me to hire some uh, engineers like that are also doing Android work and backend work so that like I can, uh, so that like we can make a more, uh, like set of features which are available across all platforms so that our users are uh, like happier that we are in sync across platforms. Not only they get the new and latest features that your team comes up with on iOS, but also other platforms. Yeah. Oh, and it sounds like, it sounds like you're ready to grow and, and, and launch and lead the of your own professional development. It sounds like uh, you're ready to offer uh, capabilities that we haven't even thought about and it, that all stems on on the fact that uh, you having additional staff to do this would help you accomplish this mission that's 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 a great point yeah like I totally I totally in, I'm totally in sync with that and I do feel that it will be amazing for our users that we will be able to deliver all this value across the platforms awesome well and news hey look uh, you know, I don't, I don't mean to be one to press for time. I, I got five more minutes with you. I, I love this idea of what you're trying to do. You know, the back, uh, just sharing the fact that you're artistic, got a background in India, uh, you know, coming here and, and then now trying to grow your team with additional folks. I think it's a great idea. If you don't mind, make sure you bring, you know, can you write a white paper on how many staff you need, the cost that it's going to take to do that and what the capabilities are? I think that'd be great to bring to your manager and, and we can take a look and, and see if we're, if there's a possibility to fund that. Um, what, what else did you want to talk about today? I mean, I, again, I don't get to see my people, so I got five more minutes with you and, uh, and, and then we got to go. So, uh, I got to jump to another call. I apologize. I, I don't like to be this busy, uh, but it seems that these days we're busier than we'd like to be. That's yeah. Like I totally agree with you and I am so thankful and uh, lucky that you were generous enough to take the time to chat with me. Uh, I would love to explore, like, if, uh, like, thank you for, uh, the idea on writing the one page, like the one pager for what the asks are and what the uh, like benefits we will get out of that. Uh, would love to see like if you can like uh, uh, like if I could send it directly to you first, so that like it seems like you are already uh, like you already have some growth ideas in mind, so that like I can get help from you in terms of helping shaping it better, so that we can have a, a, like a good case that we can present to leadership. Yeah, Anush sounds like a great idea. Let's let's make sure that we don't bypass your manager. The worst thing I'd want to have is a manager who doesn't think I believe in them for doing their job too. So, uh, by all means, let your let your manager know what you want to do. Send me that uh, proposal, that one pager, and make sure you CC your manager John on it, uh, just to make sure that we're all moving together. Again, our success is is our success together. Makes sense. That's a great point. I already have chatted with John, and he is on board with the idea, but wanted to make sure that you are also on board before like sending, surprising you with a one page. <laughs> oh no, thanks for the consideration. I really appreciate it, Anoush.
that's awesome. Thank you, Ed. All right. See you. See you around the, the office. See you. Okay. So time out real, real quick. Anuj, I thought you were asking for a promotion. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shoot. I forgot. <laughs> he was asking for team members. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, Ed. You, 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 you deflected everything he threw at you. And I was, I don't know if you were seeing chat. <laughs> so, Anuj, that's why, um, again, I try to get the press of five minutes because I was like, I was hoping that, you, you know, again, you, I, I think you did a great job of connecting. You did a great job there, but you forgot your ass. Like, what did you come to meet me for? What did you want? Uh, and it looks like we missed it. We missed that opportunity, even if we press time. But I love the idea of okay, growing your team if that was your goal. But I, again, I thought the goal was promotion, your your personal promotion. So I started thinking that maybe my promotion is equal to growing my team. Like if my team grows, then that comes. But maybe I should have made that more explicit. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would think so too. Because uh, again, that that I, I was following you. Like you, if you if that's what you want, you have to throw it in there. It has to because right now the negotiation, your negotiation with me was growing your team. Again, I have managers that do that now. Ed, I need I need more people. All right, well, tell me how that's going to help you. And then at the same time, like, well, Ed, if I'm able to do this, how how does that reflect upon my my personal promotion? How does that reflect on me and in, in my growth in this business? That, again, it's a you ask it as a question, but you're attaching it to the growth. Um, I'll pause right there. I don't mean to be doing it like this, Anush. Let me stop. Makes sense. I think that's a great point. Love it. If I was Ed's boss, I think I... I think I would like a news because, uh, yeah, I'm like, dang, you know, uh, he's thinking about going on other apps, expanding the team. He's going to generate us a lot of money. And I think if he came back with that same attitude of curiosity and exploration uh, next year and that, you know, all that did come to fruition, I, I'd be like, hey, how much, uh, how much are you looking at? Don't you want to raise, you know, <laughs> like, wow, we want to keep you here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and to Daniel's credit about that year, like you actually, if you're going to work for your promotion, and again, everyone's in a different place, yeah. um, it's easier if it's easier if you're already doing the job to ask for that promotion. But if you have it set as part of your promotion, that if I accomplish these goals, that is part of your promotion, what does that promotion look like six months, 12 months from now? And so when I speak to younger folks, my, a younger team uh, of consultants, I tell them, you know, like, hey, we're going to do, it's going to take a year to do this. And I need you to get to these three classes. I need you to show this much growth. And when I put for your promotion in nine months, it's so much easier to fight for that because you finish the three classes, you finish, the, you know, the, the job growth and the number of deliverables. And all I have to do is present it to them. Hey, they did all the things that they were supposed to do. Like, we got to give them the 8% raise. They're, they're, they're already doing the job. If we don't do it, we're going to lose them. And that's how I manage my leadership. That's a great point. Hey, hey, Daniel, what did you mean by your last comment here? Trying to get Ed to come up with a solution. Yeah, I like the news where he goes like, Ed, it, it sounds like you have all these terrific ideas. And I, that right there is a, a bar of gold. Uh, most people do take that bait, especially with an ego, you know, an assertive. And I know Ed, if he didn't know any better, he probably would have took that bait and said, yeah, Noosh, I got a great, fantastic idea. Let's get three more people on your team. And if they perform well, you know what? Um, who knows? Uh, sky's the limit on your raise. I, I know you want to raise from me, man. I can sniff it <laughs> or something, <laughs> no, right? Yeah, absolutely. that would have worked on a lot of folks right there. That line was heavy. Yeah. Oh, did you feel it, Ed? Like, yeah, I think yeah. you had to go fact, like, wait a second. No, Anush, <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, Daniel, you're absolutely right because you said, hey, I, if I would have loved Anuj to say, hey, look, I, I know you got some great ideas. You know, can I, you know, what, what are the chances of carving out some time on your schedule to, you know, to talk about some Carve of these about ideas? time. I'd love, you know, like, again, it's what opportunities are there? Can we, can we meet to discuss this? It sounds like you've got a great ideas. you got great, again, you're lifting them. you got some great experiences and it'll help me shape this in the right way so that we can get this approved. There's probably some considerations here I'm not thinking about. And please forgive me for not knowing. You know, what, what opportunities are there for us to meet so you can, you know, help me guide the direction of this. Again, Anuj, You'll be fucking like project manager in no time. <laughs> I'll pause. I'll pause. And I don't mean to curse. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. This, we are free range chickens here. <laughs> uh, Ed is on steroids today. <laughs> on fire. I mean, on fire. Doug, uh, you oh, got thanks. any words? Uh, Doug, is a, Doug is a machine becoming human. He knows everything about planes and law. And, that's, <laughs> and you probably triggered him in that scenario, Ed. Uh, yeah, that. It, it just goes to show why uh, you don't – oh, man, it's why I'm not 
in a in a corporate structure uh, because Ed just basically said a lot of things without saying nothing. And uh, yeah, right. He didn't answer that, any of his questions. He just gave him a summary, you know, validate what he said. I, I'm like, he's I, not spilling anything. I and nominate back Ed to his own for manager. United States Senate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of things without saying nothing, and that that would <laughs> that, that drives me crazy. So, uh, well done, Ed. I was really actually like, good lord, that's impressive. <laughs> he made him feel seen. He felt seen and felt felt validated, but didn't get a single thing from you. So it was. <laughs> And we ran out of time, Douglas. We so there was another constraint that I didn't have to control. See, that, right. that's why I always start with, no, guys, hey. <laughs> uh, I, I know we got this 20-minute appointment schedule. Is this still a bad time? No, no, it's fine. Uh, this 20 minutes, all you. I'm all ears for you. Beautiful. I'm, I'm going to shake you up. Like Ed says, you know, I'm, I'm going to bring you up. That might take you back down. But <laughs> we're not, we're not going to be neck and neck. And you, you're going to want to spill some beans. Uh, does anybody here want to, I mean, you got five minutes. If anybody can get a cup of coffee in five minutes from somebody, if anybody here wants to pick, pick a victim, be great. I would like to try to get coffee from Patricia. <laughs> oh, magic. Let's go. All right. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Hey, good morning. What can How's I do it for going? you? Oh, uh, just kind of mumbling and stumbled around this morning. Uh, wow. Have you been uh, busy at all today? Yeah, it's just actually just starting to kind of uh, clear out in here. It's been crazy, crazy this morning. How can I help Has you? It? What can I get for you? Oh, nothing. No, no, not really. Uh, just kind of browsing around here. I tried the uh, the Vente Mocha last week and it was really good, but I don't, I don't know what I want. Mm, okay. Uh, well, go ahead and have a look. I'll be right back. I need to just go in the back sure and thing. do something. You bet. Oh my God, Patricia, the guy out there, he's so cute, Patricia, you should talk to him. <laughs> Get back out there. Hey, so I'm back. I'm sorry, what's your name? I'm Douglas. Hey, nice Douglas. to meet you. Hey, good to meet you. Have you decided what you want? No, not really, Patricia. I'm really not. I don't know. All right, well, you keep looking. I have a ton of dishes to wash here. Hey, no worries. Yeah, Five minutes later. Some we need to play some romantic music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so, Patricia, tell me enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do Ooh. you think of me? What do I think of you? <laughs> how, how so? Oh, no, I'm just playing. I'm completely honorary. Uh, honorary sounds like you're off to kind of a tough day. Yeah, it's not been the best. That's for sure. So Patricia, how, do you like working here? This is a fun location. It seems like a, a fun job. Get to talk to a lot of people. Oh yeah, I love my my coworkers. Just now, when I went to the back, one of them piped up and said she thought she was you, you were kind of cute. I should come oh, back down oh. here and talk to you. Oh wow, I appreciate that. Always always good to hear, right? Yeah, yeah. No, we have a good time. We have to obviously we have like a couple hundred people every morning stomping here. Two hundred people? Yeah, it's that many a lot yeah mo and sometimes we get these crazies who ask for free coffee and free pastries and god only knows oh, what call else. me crazy call me crazy you won't believe so, my day yeah so have you decided what you want douglas yeah you're probably gonna think i'm just another another long line of cute faces here <laughs> you're probably gonna think i'm the same old guy just different 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 uh different song same song different verse patricia I did something stupid. Um, I was in such a hurry when I left this morning. I left my wallet, and I, I'm so embarrassed. I've got this meeting, and I'm, I need to amp up for it a little bit, believe it or not. And uh, would you be opposed to hooking me up with a small, uh, small, just a drip coffee, just out of a out of container? Um, so wait, you forgot your coffee? Like it's? I'm sorry, you forgot your wallet? Like it's in your yeah. car? No, no, I know I left it at home. I know exactly what I did. I ran out of, out with it and I let it's in my other pair of pants. I'm just like, oh you mm, I hate it. Holy smokes. So embarrassing. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, you know, my manager is right there. I really we're not supposed to be giving out. And plus we already had like 10 people ask for free stuff this morning. Hey Patricia, I'm gonna go out for a smoke. 
I'll be back in 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Dan, that's our manager's taking uh, off. Her. Um, you know, Patricia, while the cat is away, the mice will play. <laughs> um, well, it could be something we could do. Um, but for that cup of coffee, what could you do for us? Oh, you know what? I love giving reviews. I like, I like this location anyway. I'm here once a week easily, and I'd be happy to even name you by name if you want. Only if you want. Uh, if it'd be good for you, I'd be happy to to give you huge kudos because it's been uh, so fun to talk to you today. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, I'm working here part time as I finish up my graduate degree, and I have a dog, and oh, so what I really are you, what are you have studying? to. Um, you know, I'm studying. Um, I'm studying law actually. I, I don't want to be an oh. attorney, but I just want to have a working knowledge of of the Constitution. So I'm looking to get my my JD. Oh yeah, that's a fun education. I I, I had a very interesting edu- experience with it. I uh, practiced law for a number of years, and uh, ah, you're an attorney. Yeah, no, not anymore. Uh, been there, done that, nailed it shut. But I'm like you, Patricia. I, I really love the education. It's helped me as a real estate entrepreneur immensely. But uh, but actually practicing law, not so much. And, and you'd be surprised how many attorneys you talk to. It's a similar experience. I love the education. The actual business itself is not so fun. Mm. But I, I'm with you. It, it's such a great thing. And once once you have this education, you can do anything with it. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you. So uh, what class has been the, the most fun so far? Um, so far, I think for me, it's been it's been uh, the international uh, NATO class. And we've been focusing on oh, on. Yeah on uh the small european sector that's interesting have, have you uh uh written any papers on it or i'm really fascinated that that sounds like a lot of fun yeah i know a lot you know i would love to talk about this uh but i do have to get back to work oh sure um, uh, sure hey i'll come by uh, sometime when you're not busy and uh, chat more about it i'm really fascinated to hear what you what what's uh what's up with that sector awesome I'm, i don't yeah. know much about the international side but it's, it sounds really fun awesome okay yeah cool yeah. thank you so much so, yeah. All right. Um, so, so that cup of coffee, um, you know, if you did want to write a review and, and name me, that would Deal. be awesome. Deal. Yeah. Is, is that, is that, I mean, would you be opposed to doing something like that now as I, as I, no, I can do it right right now on the phone. Okay. For sure. So go ahead and knock that out and I'll get your cup before my sure. manager comes back in. Patricia was epic. The all service right, here has been incredible. Time. Yeah, that, hey, you still got what you wanted, and it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's about, right? I'm trying to have fun out there. Yeah, and I think for me, um, and, and Dan and I have talked about this. So, as a woman, I have a hard time bridging this. Sometimes I feel like the guy is going to take me, like I'm coming on sexually. And then with Doug, I didn't feel like it was mm. sexual. It just felt fun. And so I think for me, that's kind of like the line, like, I don't know if I'm overly sensitive to it, but it didn't feel sleazy, I guess. It's just a, a way I want to say it. Oh, good well, negotiator. That's a great point. And I could have made it sleazy and it could have yeah. taken it and taken it that way and, and ran with it. And I chose not to. And, and it's weird you say that because it was like, oh, watch out with that one. I so threw I that bait out there to see if you would use your looks to get the coffee and you, you, <laughs> you, you took the high road, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, so first, first time I, for everything. <laughs> I think what happened really I do was uh, as you kind of over, overdoing the talking part at Patricia losing interest. And at that point she, it, it becomes creepy for her. Like she doesn't, she doesn't understand where it's leading. So that's, that's, the, that's actually indicator for you that it's, you overdone it, I suppose, and uh, you have to acknowledge it. And uh, I don't know. I, if anything, I think Patricia is excited to see him again because uh, they got something in common, law. And he's already done that journey that she's embarking on. I think in her mind, she's just going to be thinking about that all day. Like, wow, somebody validated me. I'm going to go right, study the, harder. The $25,000 question. Patricia, yeah. Did yeah. You, were you happy to get rid of me or are you looking forward to seeing me again? <laughs> this is the Eugene Law. What happened there? Happy to um, give him the coffee I, or get rid of him. Yeah, no, I, I would I would want to like if I saw you again, I would be like, oh hey, it's that guy Doug. He he's an attorney. I think for me, like what clinched me is when I started to say I'm in graduate school and I'm studying law, and you were like, oh, like right immediately, like almost cut me off, but yeah. in an engaging way, not in a rude way. Mm. And that would happen out in the wild too, because I I'm a professional student in, in my mind somehow. So it, it it I always love to hear what people are curious about. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's good. I really, I like that, uh, that approach. Ed. And I, I thought, again, Patricia and Douglas, just fantastic. Uh, just listening to the things that stuck out for me were, you were both so very patient. And unlike Daniel, and this is probably because how you run this, this, this session. I mean, we've been in other sessions where, again, it's action, 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 action. There was actually, again, you've mentioned rapport being developed. There was connection here all, constantly. How do we connect? How do we connect? How do we connect? Make a deal. So uh, again, credit to Patricia and Douglas. You were both patient with each other. Uh, Patricia, you, you took your time with Douglas as he was trying to get his angles. Again, just, just great job. You're both you know, negotiating your deals. Uh, I just thought it was great. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think um, for me, like a takeaway is, and we, this has come up in other mock scenarios, is coming up and you say, is it a bad time? And I think in Doug's favor, initially I said, it's a good time because we're just starting to, to kind of have a little lull after a busy morning. So that already was kind of like an open invitation. Hey, you can hang out. Hey, take your time, you know, but if he happened to come in, like when we did it, Ed, and you happen to be right at, you know, the peak of crazy rush hour, it's eight o'clock in the morning. And of course we have 20 people in line. Um, um, I think that's an opportunity for a person in that scenario to say, you know, is now a bad time is, you know, should I step away and come back in a few minutes or something like that? Cool. Any feedback from anyone else before I uh, jump off here? No, this was a great session. I wish I joined you guys earlier today. Hey, come, come Friday. There's less people on come Friday. On, more yeah, more practice. Yeah. I jump in on the practice wagon. Uh, Adeline, you've been so quiet. Any uh, any feedback, Michael? Just quiet. absorbing into the whole thing. Great session. Any takeaways? Any uh, anything? Oh, this elevation. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's a big one. Yeah. Validation yeah. elevation. <laughs> Shake them up. I think. I think uh, so as a, to wrap up the session, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so wrap that it up. introduced us all to a new perspective, uplifted us all. And from that space, we began all the other negotiations, which are extremely important because now you're in open states of mind. You're, you're feeling what the ad is bringing to the table. It influences you. Therefore, you're able to explore other vantage points and try something that you never tried before, I suppose. And I've seen this a lot with you guys. Today was the best session you ever had, like from my standpoint. Uh, and I'm not trying to exaggerate. Yeah. So, um, fantastic early. job, everyone. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Thank you, Ed, for joining us. This was amazing. Ed, thank you for letting us ride you like sea biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I, was text, I was messing you, Daniel, last night. I'm like, Daniel, what time's your session, man? I think I got a window. Uh, you know, again, I, I, it's been a while. I think it's been almost a year since I've been back in these groups and uh, between moving and, and just getting settled. So, no, thank you all for the opportunity. And again, I think, again, having these sessions like this and Douglas, gosh, great, great job. I, I love those, the, you know, the challenge, Patricia, again, the, the feedback, uh, Costas Anuj, I mean, just fantastic. And, and also showed him just really, guys, thank you so much for the opportunity. I hope to see you guys again soon. Um, this, this is, it's always great, right? You, you, you learn more when you like, when you teach it. You learn it twice, right? Because one, you had to learn it the first time, and then when you, you teach it again, then you have to learn it to teach others. So, again, just the engagement with each other—not that I'm teaching you, but to explain how I do it uh, just gives me another opportunity to learn it again. Eugene, Daniel, I can't thank you guys enough for just you know letting me be here. It's great to see you guys again, brothers. I text, sent you guys a text. Hopefully, we can catch up uh, sometime soon. Uh, I apologize yeah. for my absence. Uh, I'd love to come back in. And, no worries. And the report's strong. <laughs> That's all right. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank, Thank you very much.